previously on Ash's Garage Updates. Oh, it's f***ed. Let's get these things off my f***ing car right now. In order to get rid of this terrible stance plus on my car, I have bought some second-hand M Sport suspension. All right, now I'm just gonna kick this and see what happens. Perfect. Okay, so the internet tells me that this is the near side or left hand shock and spring combination. Uh, one of the giveaways is on the part numbers. Generally speaking, I've found that the odd numbers are the left hand side and the evens are the right. So I'm just going to chop this one in and fingers crossed they're actually all right once I uh, test them out. Just going to prepare three nuts for the strut top up here so they are easy and I'm not faffing around. I've also got to contend with this loose, what should be captive, bolt, which goes there. So I've lined up the locating dowel at the back of the strut, um, which is inboard. Pressing on in part three, we're just about to put this M Sport suspension on the car and move on. No stupid instructions at all. Nothing silly. Nothing ah oh, ha ha ha. Oh, what's Ash gonna do? No, none of that. It's just gonna be serious work. Serious. My ass boys were going in. Serious work. Oof. So, what are we doing here? Well, after removing the Stance Plus coilovers and changing the wheel bearing, it's time to get the end sport suspension on the car. Starting off, by struggling with the strop top. I'm a bit stuck here. Um, it's quite embarrassing, but I'm going to have to resort to YouTube. Uh, welcome back to Jason's Hole. On this episode, we're going to stance plus my M3. Cough. Stay tuned. Jason's Hole. Ashes. Garage updates. Give it a like. Do a subscribe. Right, so I'm going to attempt to take the lower arm off now. Uh, there is a plastic shield in the way just behind, and I think that will allow me to get some spanners in there. Absolutely no time to wipe here, so I'm having to remove part of the plastic liner. 
to access the lower control arm bolt. Think that'll break it. Oh, it's off your hairy dog's c So firstly, I'm going to put the 18 on the breaker bar on this side. So we got a bit of movement and I just need to get a spanner in the other side. I go with the ratchet one. He is not happy. Then plastic's in the way. And the last one is another eight. Right, take it out. Alright, well. Ash's struggle updates. Might write a book. Learning German. Call it Mein Kampf. No other connotations there, surely. Oh god, I'm gonna break this. I'm going to break it on purpose. We're a bit stuck for extensions. You've only got something like a 3 8 ratchet. Get the extension bar, put a 19 long socket on the end of it, or whatever, fits snugly around there, and you've got some extra torque to go on. So that's an 18 both sides. Lovely. I didn't want to take the trap rod end off because it is one of them items. That if you get it wrong because of the type of ball joint it is, it might not come off in a reusable manner. Um, we have to go for it, aren't we? Yeah, the threads look like they're going to become a problem, and also the hex on top, which stops it from spinning around is equally going to be a shit. If you've faced one of these before and it's been on your car a while, you know it's not gonna come off your car easy. So I'm just bending these out of the way. I have to break them. Oh, f me, I don't wanna do this. That was just starting to spin at the end because the track rod's already come out and it's a tapered type ordeal. We're spinning at this point. Mm, I think we all know where this is going. Let's get this in and get it out. Well, that's never coming out again, ever. As soon as that ball joint starts to spin, it's pretty much game over. Oh, where are we at with this? Come on. Clutching at straws here. I'm going to use a conventional way of trying to get this nut off. I don't know if that worked or I've started to bugger the hexagonal. Job. Let's see if there's still a chance of getting this nut off the track red end without having to send it at the wall and piss all over it. I think that is actually turning. How can I get this stable? Probably by putting that f***er back in. Shit. I've done this in the completely wrong order. This is exactly what you don't see on TV. It's just a proper false economy. Watching wheeler dealers and in one die with not a sweat in sight. And my best endeavours end in three, two, one. Oh no. Oh, is that game over? Oh, is that too f***ed now? I'm pretty sure I have got an infinite amount of gas in this canister. It has just lasted forever. I have burnt so much shit with it and it is still going. technique to this is just general bastardization and also watching out for your precious hub. That's why I'm not too keen to go in vertically. Uh, I don't want to 
get the knuckle, but needs must. Oh, it's just spun around like a toy. If this thing doesn't fall to pieces now, I'm gonna sell it for a Hyundai. Go. <laughs> yes. So that's the ball joint nut well and truly destroyed. Now it's time to unwind it from the inner track rod. Oh, oh you. God. Oh. Have you become such a c**t? All of a sudden. Oh, that's that little collar free. So there is a interference type collar cup that essentially helps lock the threads on the track rod end in. And it's there, it's a little sort of extended cup washer with the tightening nut there. Is a 15 on the inner tie rod, and I'm going to use the little flat points on here to not do anything. I hate adjustable spanners, they are Satan. Need a little shock to the system and give it something to write home about. It's coming out. Ah, yes. Got movement. Free it off now. Yes. Oh, you f yourself there. Oh, you fing dick. Absolute. <laughs> this has me off the most out of anything here, actually. Even more. More than the wheel bearing bolt. Because today was all about progress. Okay, now that your track rod end has been successfully pissed on, uh, we can actually get the shock into the hub at the top. So here you can see the alignment uh, dowel, which is located at the back, and that fits simply into there. Uh, so we can just pop this in and over like that. And up we go. Tied a screwdriver into the back to open it up a bit. Everything can suck my I think the alignment dowel has taken. Wait. Yeah, definitely did. Cool. So I can see a witness mark from the previous, which might be a bit of a clue as to where it goes and sits. <sighs> oh, hell. Finally. I think this is where I'm gonna call it now. Um, what do I have to do? Uh, I've got to replace the drop links, I've got to replace the track rod end, I've got to replace the pads, and I've got to replace everything else. And um, I'm probably going to need to replenish my bladder very soon because I'm sure the rest of the car is also going to be as bad. Right, till next time. Ashes. Garage update.
give it a like. Do a subscribe. <laughs>